channel. If you're new here, I'm Sue of Bend and Stretch with Sue. In today's video, I'm going to be continuing to add on through our yoga practice with a seated sequence this week. So you can either do this one all on its own or you can connect it up with the previous ones that we've done so far in this series. So let's begin by sitting with the legs outstretched. So we'll extend the legs out nice and long and as we flex the ankles, pulling the toes ever so gently towards you. Now you could either fold up the edge of your mat here to add a little bit more ease. You can have a blanket or even a block or some support behind the knees to make this easier. But as we reach up, remaining tall, and neutral through the spine. So you're going to have a little bit of a pull, a little hug of the belly button toward the spine, reaching tall to allow you to fold over the legs. So breathe in and get nice and long and as you breathe out, soften, let the belly come a little bit closer to your thighs and really try to relax into your upper body so there's not a lot of tension there or resistance. It's all about really using gravity to help you to hinge and to allow that stretch to happen. So take a couple more breaths here. And then slowly unroll and come on all the way back to sitting nice and tall. So from here, we are going to keep the right leg extended long as you bring the left foot along the inside of that leg. So keeping both sit bones grounded again, using your support right at the base of the pelvis if needed, and taking a big breath in to lengthen. And as you exhale, bringing the right hand to your left knee and left hand behind you. So breathe in, reach through the top of the head and then look past your back shoulder, keeping chin level, keeping jaw relaxed and keeping those right toes pulling towards you so that the leg stays really long and extended and then unwinding to come all the way back again. Breathe in to reach up and as you breathe out, reaching your right hand toward the right ankle, the right foot. As you slide, the finger is down closer toward that foot. Now taking your left arm, see if you can wrap it around the lower back and this is going to help to keep the chest really open. Bit by bit, you might be able to slide the torso, the trunk, down towards your thigh, taking your gaze up so long as you're not creating strain in your neck as well. So take your gaze to where it feels the best. So for you, it might be to look down towards your mat, or you might be able to look straight ahead, or you might be able to take it to get a little bit deeper by looking upward and then slowly make your way back up again. Take a shoulder roll when you get up there and then relax and release them down. So let's switch sides, bringing the left leg long, taking the right foot along the inside of that leg. So once again, get tall here, stay really balanced both sides of your pelvis. And as you take your left arm across, take the right hand behind you, breathe in tall, and look back. Breathe in and breathe out. Use your eyes to look back. Keep pulling those toes on your left leg towards you. Press through the back of your heel as well. Breathe in and breathe out. As you release it, come on back to face center and let's inhale, reach up. Exhale, take your left hand along the inside of that leg. Reach, reach, reach as you let your trunk make its way over top of your thigh, taking that right arm and just resting the back of your hand on your lower back. Maybe even just kind of start to make its way toward your inner thigh as you really open up the chest. So you want to think about making space in this right lung to breathe into and as you open the chest and feel like you're turning your sternum toward the sky it actually helps you to get a deeper stretch so take another breath here see if you can soften up a little bit more press that right knee open as well 
and then come on all the way back up again. Sit nice and tall. So from here, we take it back to our forward bend. So stretching the legs out, readjusting through those sit bones if needed to breathe in, extend, and then breathe out to bow over top of the legs. So you'll probably find now that you're actually able to get a little bit deeper into that stretch as you soften. So again, you're not forcing yourself down. You can use the hands to kind of guide you, but don't struggle, don't strain to get there. It's really about listening to your body and being kind to your body. We really want to use our yoga practice as a means of relieving stress. We don't want to induce stress by trying to get so deep that you're creating struggle for yourself and then slowly making your way back up again. Take your shoulder roll and slide them down in a way. So remaining tall in your seated position, and I'm just going to turn so you can see me a little bit better here. As we extend through the right leg, we're going to take the left shin uh, toward the body. So we really wanna promote opening up that hip. So if you can keep your left foot in your right hand, cradling your left knee with your left hand to pull and draw it in towards you. And we're coming into rocking the cradle here. So you're really getting more mobility into the hip. You can actually bring the foot maybe in a little bit closer, right in the hollow of your right elbow. And this may work really well if you've added on the other um, practices, the other parts of this practice and built your sequence so that the body is very warm. Now, if you're just tuning in for this particular segment, you might have to do a little bit more rocking, a little bit more movement, be a little bit more patient. You might even stop the video and really work on softening up and opening up that hip. But when you are ready, we're going to take the foot and bring it across over to the right hip to the outer right hip flexing that right foot or the right ankle once again as we reach up to inhale and then exhale to bow over top of our left thigh so again you're going to soften through all of your facial features you can hold on to that foot you can draw yourself a little bit closer into the leg and every time you exhale you're going to feel yourself allowing to get a little bit deeper and creating some actual compression of your body over that thigh to get a bigger stretch which feels amazing really good for opening up the hips and releasing the lower back now as you make your way back up we're going to either remain right here depending on your hip flexibility or if you have a little bit more flexibility well coming into a full cow face as you bring that right foot um, beside your left hip so what you want to do is you want to try to keep your knees stacked as best as you can you do want to stay seated on both of your sit bones so you're not twisted over to the side you could slide a cushion underneath there if you need a little bit more height but certainly feel free to keep that right leg straight if needed now as you bring the arms up we're going to reach and lengthen and the same arm or the same arm as the leg that is below is going to reach down between the shoulder blades so you can kind of help it along with your left hand as you guide that hand down the back Press the back of your head into the arm, hold it there, or see if possibly you could bind by bringing your right arm up and binding the hands together. You could hold on to your shirt, you could hold on to a yoga strap here um, in order to bind if you're not able to connect the hands together. But it, whether you're holding on to something or you're actually binding hands, start to feel the pull with the bottom hand. So the left hand is pulling down to keep that left arm, that elbow pointed up. And you can even take your gaze up higher to get a bigger stretch through the chest, into those pectoral muscles, those muscles that get so, so tight from all of the forward bending that we do. 
as you release it, let it go, a little shrug, and soften. So from here, you can unwind the legs, and as you stretch them out, let's switch it over to the other side. So we're going to draw our right knee in toward us and taking hold of the foot, taking hold of the knee cradling, rocking the cradle here as we continue to shift the hips side to side, breathing in and really using your breathing to help you to relax. It's all about working out those kinks in the body, those knots of resistance, so that you start to allow opening to occur. When that happens, energy flows, you get rid of the stuck energy, the stale energy that's within your body, and you allow new, fresh energy to flow in. So whenever you are ready, you're going to take that right foot and bring it to the outer hip, once again, stacking of the knees as best as you can, remaining balanced onto both of the sit bones, breathing in to reach tall and breathing out to bow and to hinge over top of your right thigh, reaching toward that left foot, using breath to help you to do it. And just breathing. So wonderful here today as I'm able to breathe in that wonderful fresh air, the lake air, this beautiful spring fed lake. Birds are singing. There's little chipmunks running around. The frogs are hanging out close to the dock. Lots of activity going on around me, but it is all very soothing and calming. As you come up, you're going to either remain with the legs in this exact position or maybe explore taking it a little bit deeper to move into your full cow face so as you anchor both of your sit bones take a big breath in reach those arms up take your left hand between the shoulder blades see if you can guide it down again lifting the gaze sliding the arm down maybe a little bit more and potentially staying right there or See if you can reach up, back and up to try to bind once again, holding on to it. You can close your eyes while you feel yourself bringing that fresh energy into those joints, those shoulder joints. They get so stuck, so tight. This is a wonderful opportunity to get rid of those stuck areas. and then slowly let it go. Breathe in and release it. So from here, we'll unwind the legs and you can gently wipe or blade them together as we move into a cross-legged position. Now, if cross-legged is normally a bit of a struggle for you, you may find now after doing those seated sequence that you are much more open and able to allow those knees to open outward. So from here, I'd like to thank you so much for your time today. Do be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and give me one of these if you liked it. Hit that notification bell so you'll know when I upload new content. You can check it out and you can check me out in the next video. Namaste. Thank you.